Um, moving on to the next one. This one came as a bit of a surprise. The second biggest YouTuber, PewDiePie. He's been known for his gaming videos. I haven't really watched any of them, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, he has 102 million subscribers. Um, and he says he's going to be taking a bit of a break from YouTube. Quite a surprise. Yeah, to be honest, I don't, I don't find it a surprise. So I actually watch him on a semi-daily basis, um, and he's, he's been, a, I've been a big fan right. of his for a long time, um, and he makes a video every single day, right? So it's, it's exhausting, I'm sure, <laughs> to put the content out every single day. Yeah. Um, and we've seen a similar sure. trend from a lot of the big YouTubers in the space, um, because this YouTube algorithm rewards frequency and, and wants you to post as much time as much as possible because they're trying to maximize watch time. The kind of incentive for sure. these creators is to create and create and create and create and create. And so often they are on their own schedules, they're doing all they can to get a video out every day or every week. Um, and unfortunately, that does lead to burnout in some cases. And so PewDiePie has been going daily for years now. And so I, I'm, I for one, am not surprised. I'm interested, I'm interested to see what happens to his stats and to his watch time and whatnot. Um, yeah. And because the, the, biggest, the biggest worry when people take these kind of breaks is, uh, do they stay relevant, right? Is he going to stay relevant as the biggest creator on the platform? Um, I personally think he is because he's got such a rabid fan base that love him. They'll wait for him and they'll, and they'll put out a good thing. Um, but what's been interesting to watch with PewDiePie is how his content has changed over the years. Like, I know you said he's a gamer, but he hasn't. He, he does m some gaming videos. But for example, the video I posted today was on ancient Greek philosophy. And he was basically talking rubbish about Twitter and talking about how virtue signaling on Twitter can be likened to what Aristotle said back in the day. And so his content really is much more varied than the media gives him credit for. And I think he's found an amazing way to interact with his audience on a daily basis, day by day by day by day, and build really, really passionate fans. And so personally, I don't think this break is going to do anything bad for him. I think he's going to be refreshed and come back with a new set of eyes. But obviously, the media runs away with it and says PewDiePie is dead, PewDiePie is never coming back, right? Right. Um, and so we'll have to watch, watch and see what happens. Yeah, these, these types of breaks are always interesting to watch. I mean, all of the big YouTubers have gone through this time. I mean, I think being a, a watcher rather than a sort of poster, um, you don't see all of the negative comments and all of the, you know, all of that type of feedback that I think has quite a big effect on someone's self-esteem. Um, and, you know, certainly just in terms of burnout, sometimes YouTubing can be a full-time job. And uh, so just like we all take holidays, I think it's, uh, as you say, pretty, pretty fair. Um, but I'm not t entirely sure how long this break is going to be. Um, and so I think I think that's where the element of surprise com comes in when, uh, you know, this announcement was made. Also, in terms of YouTube and their sort of advertising revenue collection, uh, do you think they're concerned about this? Or do you think they're quite happy that all of his previous viewers are now just going to spend more time on other channels? So that's, it's quite an amusing question because a lot of his content is so edgy that YouTube don't really monetize his stuff anymore, right? So he's, he's, an, he's the number one creator on the platform and he's got this love-hate relationship with, the, with, the, with YouTube because YouTube wants lots of family-friendly content. They want to please advertisers. And PewDiePie has got himself in a lot of issues in the last couple of years by saying things that aren't politically correct or saying joke, making jokes that potentially are offensive to some people. And so he is a big proponent of free speech and he speaks his mind and he doesn't care about being demonetized, whereas YouTube demonetizes a lot of his videos. So a lot of his, a lot of his revenue actually comes from selling merch and selling his own games and that kind of stuff. So I don't think YouTube see him as a big revenue generator at all, right? I think they see him as a, a okay. figurehead for the platform, a, a kind of personality that gets people into the, into the platform itself. Um, but to be honest, I don't think they make that much money off him. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Perfect. Just shows you how little I know about PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> Across the pond.